Okay, guys, I have to apologize. This is Zoom. Now I think I have to share the screen and we have to go back to the file. So, Jamila, if you can hear me, you can complete questioning. Yes, I can. Uh, have a very... <laughs> have a very... Uh, lived in a, foreign, uh, in a foreign country. Wait, you missed the subject. Have ever? Yeah, Where yeah. Is... Uh, have you ever uh, lived in a, foreign, in a foreign country? No, I have not. Have you ever uh, seen the sunrise? Yes, I have. Have you ever slept in a tent? Yes, I have. Have you ever met a famous person? Yes, I have. Uh, have you ever run a marathon? No, I have not because I'm 10. <laughs> have you ever eaten Chinese food? No, I haven't. Have you ever uh, failed in exa an exam? Yes, I have. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe, thank you so much. Maybe five times. Okay. So, guys, okay. notice that all of them are talking about experiences. فلاحظوا guys بسموه عطول present perfect زمن التجارب فأنا كم مرة قمت بهذا الفعل so please guys try the best to use the present perfect and use ever as much as you can okay now we have a recording this recording guys is talking about two girls these two girls are preparing themselves to travel now they need to check this list if they have prepared this list or no now we have to listen absolutely to the conversation and we have to take correct to the thing that has already done so now this uh. sorry but i want to ask you a, a question please mm -hmm. uh, never no yes yes I can say exactly. never or none or no. But the problem is that this is informal. I mean, if I was with my friends and family members, I would say never. If you notice something, we hear this word in the movies and in the songs. Why guys, we don't forget that the movies and the movies and the songs are a language. But in formal language, you can't. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Okay, so guys, now we have to listen and we have to take yes to the things they have already prepared and absolutely no about the things they haven't done this thing yet. Okay, now I need you to notice the usage of the present perfect in this tense and notice the using of yet because we have a rule. So now guys, we have to listen and we have to listen to just and yet, manisa and just and yet من أقوى keywords لل present perfect. So let's listen. It is twelve point four. Please, guys, listen carefully. This is unit twelve, the final unit, and this is the recording for. Tape script twelve point four. Getting ready to go. Where's the list? I've got it. OK, let's check through. Uh, we've bought new backpacks. We did that a while ago. They look quite big. I hope we can carry them. No worries. I haven't finished packing mine yet. Have you? Not yet. Just one or two more things to go in. Oh, have you collected the euros from the bank? Yep. I've just collected 500 for you and 500 for me. All our savings. I hope it's enough. No worries. We can stay with my aunt in London. Have you emailed her yet? Yeah, she's just emailed back. She's going to meet us at the airport when we fly into London from Rome. Fantastic. Hey, look, I've just found out the weather in Rome for next week. Hot and sunny. Yay! <laughs> it's going to be so good. We're going to leave winter here and arrive in the middle of summer in Europe. <laughs> What about the tickets? I think we only need passports, but I've printed e-tickets just in case. But I haven't checked in online yet. You can only do that 24 hours before the flight. Oh, Mel, I am so excited. I can't wait.
So this is the recording. Now, let me ask you these questions. Have they finished packing yet? No, they haven't. No. No, yes, they, haven't. they have. Are you sure? No, they haven't. No, they and haven't. Then I, I finished packing. Uh, but one girl hasn't one done girl. yet. One girl. Exactly. Not uh, the two groups. So, no. Okay. Now, three. Why have they think? collected euros from the bank? Yes, they have. Yes, they have. They have. Amazing. Have they emailed Mills Aunt in London? Yes. 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 They have. Amazing. Five. Have they found out weather forecast for Rome? Yes, they yes, have. They yes, have. They have. yes, they have. Yes, they have. Have they printed e tickets? No, they, they have not. Yet. Are you sure? No, they have not. Okay. They have, have they not. Sure. Have they checked in online? No, no they don't have them. Okay. Let's yes, listen. he will check in uh, online. Okay. Let's listen again to six and seven to check the answers okay. again. So let me go back a little bit here and let's listen. <laughs> what about the tickets? I think we only need passports, but I've printed e-tickets just in case. But I haven't checked in online yet. You can only do that 24 hours before the flight. Oh, Mel, I am so excited. I can't wait. So, yes, they have printed. Yes, they have. Well, they have printed. Print. Print. But, but I, I haven't checked. Exactly. exactly. So this is it, guys. I notice the usage of yet and just. Now, guys, after discussing the usage of ever and never, now let me tell you the way that I have to use just and yet. Let me, first of all, tell you the rule before we solve this. So notice that we have do yet and just now where do we put just in the sentences and where can we put yet can we put yet in positive sentences no, no. no. Negative. amazing negative sentence only am i all the negative and questions and questions. questions exactly so only you can use yet only if the sentence is negative and if you want to use a question only you can use just if the sentence is positive take a look at this example they finished packing yet they haven't haven't bravo why because it is negative so with negative i have to use uh, uh yet this is number one okay. have you emailed have, have you, you have emailed? Me. so notice it's what have question. a question exactly this is why i used yet now she just emailed she has she has just exactly so Positive notice question. that exactly don't use just if you are asking a question or if you want to use not or negative okay okay so notice guys never ever just Yet. Teacher, not uh, just to be mana forgot. No, just al an. I have just emailed back. Anna, I sent to email al an. Okay. Hmm. يعني مثلاً نفترض أنا بالكلاس بدي أطلب من الطلاب يكتب المعلومات عن البورد. فبدي أسأل الطلاب. Guys, have you finished writing the information? يمكن طالب إلي teacher. I have just finished writing the information. يعني هلا حط البين على الديسك وخلص. Just means now. Okay. هلا يات كمان same meaning بس إنه لل question وال negative sentence مش هيك؟ Exactly. بس بعد ال action ما انتهى. يا جميلة. بعد continue. يعني آه برا آه برافو يعني أنا إذا بدي أقول they haven't finished packing yet بعد ما خلص ال action بدو وقت قصير في المستقبل. برافو. Short time only, not long time. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. So this is it, guys. The using of the present perfect. We still it have time. Where uh. we can put. Where we can put what? Yet, yet and just. I told you. Let me tell you again. Zain Hiba or Zainab. I'm Zainab. Okay. Zainab, use yet if you want to use negative. Notice they haven't. Notice haven't. Uh, ah, I, I mean that, that 
The position in the sentence. The position? Uh, wait, that's a really good question. Okay. Now, please listen to me carefully, uh, Zainab, because your question is really amazing. Guys, the time expressions that I have in the present perfect are, we have already, this is number one, we have just, we have before, we have since, we have for, we have yet. And don't forget two time expressions which are really important, recently and lately. Recently and lately have the same meaning. Okay, guys, Jamila asked me a question, uh, Zainab. When I have to use or where I have to use the present the time expression. Keep in mind, guys, if you want to say I have written my homework already, this is completely wrong. Why? Because, guys, keep in mind that already just these two time expressions and recently, lately, only, only you have to use them between the auxiliary and the main verb. Don't use already in the beginning. Don't use it at the end because this is informal. So use it between the time, the auxiliary and the main verb. I have already written my homework i have recently visited my sister i have lately eaten my pizza i have just finished writing the homework so please guys these four time expressions only you can use them between the auxiliary have has and the main verb which is verb free okay okay this is okay. number one. Number two, all the time, all the time, before, plus, yet, only you have to use them at the end. I haven't visited Japan before. I haven't finished writing my homework yet. So, before, yet, only at the end. Already just, recently, lately, between the auxiliary and the main verb. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, let me explain the difference between since and for. Guys, too much students, to be honest, I know they don't know the correct way they have to use since and for. Let me, let me write an example and you have, let me explain the difference. If I want to say I have studied English, okay, when? Before three years. Three years or let me say um, um i have eaten let me uh, change the example i have eaten uh, 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 my dinner my dinner before three not years holy god before three hours now let me write another example which is the same i have eaten my dinner now, not before three hours, since six o'clock. Okay, notice the difference between since and for. Since and for, guys, have the same function, which is mentioning the time. Notice before, after, before we have time. Since, after, since we have time. But if you remember the exact time, if you want to mention the exact time, you since. Since six o'clock, since five. But if you don't remember the exact time, use four, not before, holy God. Four. For three years. Okay? Again, if you remember the exact time the action started, use since. But if you don't exactly remember the time, use four. Even even in months, for example, I have eaten, not 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 uh, eaten my dinner. Let me say I have studied not my dinner let me say english now english before let me write three months this is number one 
Now, the next example, absolutely, it is the same. I have studied English since, absolutely, not 6 uh, p.m. I have to say since June. So notice now, guys, I remember the exact month because I remember the exact month I have to use since. Yeah, I know before three months, but I don't remember the exact name of the month. So is it, this is why I used for. Okay, guys. Okay. okay. Now my question is, have you understood the present perfect? Yes, certainly. Yes, what? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Amazing. So this is it, Have you understood the present perfect? Yes, we have. Yes, we I have. have. Exactly. So yes, I have. No, I have not. So I think, guys, I haven't finished yet. So I need one more hour just to finish uh, the unit 12. And I think we only need one class for the course to be finished. Okay. Exactly. Yes, but you have to pass the exam, Jamila. Yes, certainly I pass. Yes, you will. Absolutely you will. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. So guys, thank let you. me thank you so much and let me wish a good night okay. for you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I have a question. Yes, Zainab. Uh, the exam matlub kill the units ولا بس من عند unit six from ولا... seven from seven to twelve. Okay. Mm -hmm. From one to six, this is level one. From seven to twelve, this is level two. Okay, but please start in our it. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. at least I will give you one week at least. Okay. Teacher, هلا نحن عندنا امتحانات يعني بالمدرسة. يعني فيك تعطينا يعني ما بعرف هلا نحن يعني مش الأسبوع الجاي نكون اللي بعده اوكي okay. لنخلص ونتفضى نسأل ان ندرس الامتحان جميلة is that you? yes okay guys let's vote let's vote and you have to tell me your uh, vote in the group now do you accept okay. do you accept for the exam to be after 10 days or you need more time if 10 days is enough please send yes to the group if it is not because of the exams that you have at school, say no because we want to vote. Okay. Okay, guys. 10 days is enough, but maybe some of you guys have schools and have to study for the exams. By the yeah. way, please send me your votes and we will decide if we can manage the exam after 10 days or maybe we need more. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. You. Thank you, teacher, so much. Thank you, Thank you again, and have a nice night. Bye bye. Have a good night.